Hi dear friends and subscribers, welcome to the Cricket Happenings once again and well your host Ram is there with the match report of the match which ended today, the first match which was played in the IPL uh, Indian Premier League 2013 and what an exciting match we had. I mean uh, this IPL is getting very exciting. Let me tell you we had one of those another exciting matches which was happening. The Kings 11 Punjab won the match by 4 runs on the last ball. I mean Kolkata Knight Riders lost it on the last ball, Kings 11 Punjab winning the match on the um, of the on the last ball. In fact, the last ball they required six runs to win. Sunil Narin was on strike and Praveen Kumar was the bowler. Well, but it is it was not possible. It was not something uh, which was beyond the realms of possibility. And yes, that was that was it. Kolkata Knight Riders finished with 153 for nine in reply to Kings Eleven Punjab, who made 157 for nine of their 20 overs. Now, as far as Kings Eleven Punjab innings were concerned. Uh, they, they finished at 157 for 9, uh, the thanks in the main to the man of the match who had an all-round performance and he was actually playing his first match in the IPL 2013 and what a performance he did. In fact, uh, Kings Eleven Punjab were absolutely enormous pressure because Sunil Nareen had taken the first uh, hat-trick of the IPL 2013 when he dismissed three batsmen uh, in three deliveries. First he dismissed uh, David Hussey who was caught by Bisla of the bowling of Nareen for 12 uh, of 15 balls and then it was the time for Azhar Mahmood uh, to actually give catching practice to Nareen. He was gone for a duck and Gurkirit Singh couldn't, uh, couldn't know anything, didn't know anything about the delivery which Nareen bowled and Gurkirit Singh was clean bowled for a duck thus giving Sunil Nareen an hat-trick. Now King Sulan Punjab, um, well they were, they were really struggling. Gilchrist uh, continued his uh, woeful form in the IPL 2013 even being the captain of the King Sulan Punjab innings. He was out for just 7 of 12 balls with 1-4. Mandeep Singh uh, made a very uh, strokeful 41 of 30 balls with 6 fours. Manan Bora making 17 of 16 balls with 2 fours. Um, but David Miller was playing well but he was a victim of uh, Sachitra Sen and Ayke Dhanada Moss spinner and he was walking for 20. But uh, Azhar Mahmood, as I said, Azhar Mahmood, Gurkirat Singh and Hussey uh, fell to the wilds of Sunil Nareen. And that was the time when this Kings Eleven Punjab innings was uh, looking like uh, whether they would even make uh, probably 125 runs. But thanks to Manpreet Goni who wielded the long handle, as I said, he was playing his first match in IPL 2013. He was the man of the match for his all-round performance, first with the bat. First with the bat, what he did for Kings Eleven Punjab was something. He rattled 42 of just 18 deliveries, four fours and three sixes. Um, it was uh, Sunil Nareen in the 19th over. He had already taken three wickets for 33 runs. And in the 19th over, he got a big tap from Goni. Goni just went on with his awesome power, lofting him for two sixes and one four. And one four was actually hit by Push Chavla. So 23 runs coming of a Sunil Nari over. That was the treatment he mattered. He went after uh, uh, went after the other ballers too. Balaji was uh, smited for a six by Manpreet Goni. And Manpreet Goni was using all his power and he was really sending the ball soaring high into the skies. And what a knock it was. It, it really transformed this King Solon Punjab innings which was tottering at 99 for 6 and thanks to Manpreet Goni's uh, I, I mean uh, such an uh, exciting uh, innings that he played and entertaining innings for the whole crowd there he contributed 42 of just 18 deliveries, 4 fours and 3 sixes and that was it and that was the reason King Solon Punjab finished with 157 for 9 of their 20 overs. As far as the bowling figures were concerned Balaji 1 for 39 Callis 3 for 24 is very effective as usual. Today also taking the wicket Sen and Ike 2 for 28. But Nareen picked up the first hat-trick of IPL 2013. None for 33. And 4 overs no made none for 30. Now Kolkata and Aitra is chasing the 157 for victory. 158 for victory. Uh, were in early trouble of the first delivery itself. As Pravin Kumar drew first blood uh, for, um, for his team Kings Eleven Punjab. Uh, by actually uh, capturing the first wicket of the very first ball that he bowled of the innings when Manvinder Bisla was gone, caught behind by Gilkrish for the bowling of Kumar for a duck and more trouble to follow for Kolkata Niders as, the, as Jack Scalis, the batsman, the experienced batsman was gone as Azad Mahmood had him caught by Mandeep Singh for one. Mandeep Singh took a good catch there and the score became 1 for 2 at that stage. After that it required Gautam Gambhir and Ian Morgan to stitch to their party and not only stitch them, they had to really make runs too and Gautam Gambhir and Morgan went off, uh, went off the task, I mean they went through the task in a very very uh, methodical manner uh, by hitting some good boundaries and Ian Morgan also playing some good boundaries but not really uh, going hell after leather but uh, really really um, just respecting the bowling and playing according to the needs of the game and they had done all the hard work uh, till the 14th over 
Actually, they had taken the score of the Kolkata Knight Riders to 106 at that stage when the 14th over was being bowled. And that was the time Manpreet Goni, who had actually done everything with the bat, came in and picked up a most important wicket of Gautam Gambhir, who, had, who has become the a person with the maximum number of 50s in IPL. And today, he was gone for 60 of 60 balls, of 39 balls, with 9 fours. A brilliant innings from Gautam Gambhir, but of no avail as Kolkata Knight Riders lost. Uh, Ian Morgan uh, was uh, next snapped up by Hussey of the bowling of Azhar Mahmood for 47 of 38 balls to 6 for This was the most substantial partnership that Kolkata Knight Riders had because the score was taken from 1 for 2 to 106. So 106 runs was added by both these batsmen. But after that, once Gambhir and Morgan fell, uh, it was uh, really tough. And Manpreet Goni, what he did was he, he started uh, making good use of the bouncer. And with the bouncer, he was making it difficult for Manoj Tiwari in particular, who was absolutely at sea uh, with this bouncer, he, he was not able to connect it. And uh, it, it really added the pressure uh, on the Kolkata Knight Riders innings at 116 for 4 when Morgan departed because they still required, uh, I mean, f around, um, uh, it was around uh, 41 runs still required, 42 runs required. But uh, that was the time when, because of the pressure that was created by Manpreet Goni, who had excellent figures of 4 overs, no made in 18 runs in one wicket. The pressure started telling on the Kolkata Knight Riders innings. As Manoj Tiwari was uh, the first man to be dismissed, he was clean bowled by Awana for one of seven balls. Yusuf Patan was there at the crease, but they lost. Debabrata Das was LBW bowled Azhar Mahmood for one and in walked in Rajat Bhatia. Now, that was the time the excitement started getting into fever pitch because 30 runs, uh, 30 runs were required uh, when uh, Debabrata Das passed out, in the sense once he was out. But after that, Rajat Bhatia really surprised everybody by smiting sixes of the bowling of Parvind Ravana. Parvind Ravana, 30 runs of the last two overs, Yusuf Patan was at the crease. And Rajat Bhatia, what he did is he smited two sixes. And what six? I mean, brilliant sixes. In fact, he picked up Ravana, who tried a yokel in delivery. He picked him up and uh, slammed him into over the fence for a six. And then more, one more six to follow as Ravana was once again clattered over the fence for a six. And Bhatia, in a very sweetening 16, but uh, Avana had the last laugh as he actually picked up Rajat Bhatia, clean bowl for 16 of just six balls with two sixes. And, and you know, because of those two big hits that Rajat Bhatia hit and Yusuf Patan at the crease, uh, there was definitely hope for Kolkata Knight Riders. But what happened later, once Bhatia departed, was Yusuf Patan, who played a beautiful shot, in fact, he had flicked it beautifully off his legs, but a brilliant catch taken in the deep, absolutely uh, at the point, uh, at the fence by David Miller, which actually saw Yusuf Patan walking out. And that was the time, it was the last over being bowled. And uh, at the equation at that particular time, it was the 20th over. Uh, and uh, the, the, it, it said that they needed around, around uh, 30 runs, as I said. In the last over, uh, the runs that were required was uh, 11 runs. 11 runs were required to win the match. And Yusuf Patan in the second delivery perished as he was got brilliantly and he was gone. So then Sen and Aike of the fifth delivery of uh, Praveen Kumar was run out. And that made Sunil Nareen, in fact, there were more drama as Praveen Kumar in that over, just one more ball and six runs to get, and Praveen Kumar bowled a no ball. So that was the pressure. And then finally, Sunil Nareen had to get five runs to win the match. And unfortunately, Sunil Nareen couldn't do that. And that was the end of the match. But let me tell you what a match we had here. In the end, a single was taken and Kolkata Knight Riders going along and winning this match in an exciting fashion by four runs. Um, not Kolkata Knight Riders, sorry, Kings and Punjab, uh, in fact, uh, beating Kolkata Knight Riders by four runs. The bowling figures, uh, Pr Praveen Kumar, four overs, no made in two for 26, was excellent. Azhar Mahmood, three for 21, was also excellent. Goni, as I said, was the man of the match, not only with the bat, also shown with the ball. Four overs, no made in one for 18. Splendid bowling by uh, Goni, absolutely on the mark there. And this was his first match of IPL 2013. And what a, what a start to IPL 2013 for Goni uh, and getting the man of the match. Hussey, 1 over for 14. Avana, 4 overs, went for it some tap, but to get 2 for 39. And Chavla bowled 3 overs, none for 28. Unfortunately, Pius Chavla was not effective today. Well, dear friends, friends and subscribers, that is as far as this particular match is concerned. I'm going to take you down to the other match with the live update here. We have Gale has just gone. Gale has, uh, has been out for 13 of 9 balls. Uh, with uh, two sixes right now, I see Virat Kohli and A.B. Villiers at the crease. Virat Kohli is not out on 11. A.B. Villiers is not out on 10. 
and uh, royal challengers are, fa are, are facing Delhi Daredevils. Delhi Daredevils have made 152 for 5 uh, batting first of their 20 overs and royal challengers Bangalore right now are going at a clip of 8 runs per over 48, 6 overs have gone by that is the power play has gone by and 48 for 2 is the current score with Rath Kohli on 11 Nabri Villiers on 10 so Delhi Daredevils uh, they made 152 uh, batting first just talking about it today within the Sevak played he had he made 25 23 balls with four fours 15 coming from David Warner of 13 balls with three fours uh, Juneja contributed 70 there were contributions there were not a major contribution everyone went on to take 20s and 30s the highest scorer was Kedar Jadav unbeaten 29 of 16 balls with two fours and one six Mahila Jayavardhan is the captain contributing um, uh, 28 as he was run out with two fours uh, and Ben Roder on his first match in IPL 2013 Got a bit of 14 of as many balls with 2 4. So 152 for 5 of 20 overs was the score Delhi that was put. Royal Challengers Bangalore should fancy that they could get it, but they've already lost two wickets. They lost first, um, the wicket of uh, Rahul was out for 12 of the bowling of Nera of 12 balls, and Gale, after clattering two sixes in his score of 13 of 9 balls, departed. Bolt of Markel. 49 for 2 is the current score. Well, I can only give you an update today, unfortunately. But I just wanted to cover this match between Kolkata Knight Riders and Kings and Punjab, which was pretty exciting. Uh, well, dear fans, friends and subscribers, uh, just on this note before I end my cricket show, I would like to tell you two things, uh, because uh, since we are all uh, glued to the uh, glued to IPL 2013, there is a lot of other things happening in cricket, which I would like to cover, because this is a cricket happening show. Let me tell you, Kevin Peterson uh, has been ruled out of the uh, New Zealand tour. As you know, New Zealand are going on a return leg to England, and uh, Kevin Peterson uh, is the person who wouldn't be playing so probably England are going to uh, wanting to have him fit for the Champions Trophy which is uh, the mega event which is coming up in the month of June so Kevin Peterson out and, and also let me tell you Bangladesh and Zimbabwe are starting that series as in the first test match is starting on 17th of this April um, there's only two teams which are clashing as far as international tests are concerned and uh, it is going to be uh, Bangladesh uh, taking on Zimbabwe now in Zimbabwe and Bangladesh don't have a good record in Zimbabwe but this time it looks to be a great team Bangladesh are really really looking up and they'll be looking forward to a great series there well dear fans, friends and subscribers on this note I'm going to leave you dear fans, friends and subscribers with the latest update here uh, at the, from the Punjab Cricket Association sorry, from the other stadium where uh, the RCB have reached the 50 mark right now Ebedi Williams is not out on 11 and Kohli is not out on 13 this is your host Ram ending the cricket show uh, right now for today from Bangalore that's it from me, your host Ram, for the cricket show for today. See you all tomorrow. Until then, it's goodbye. Thank you.